Okay, Mr. Gigabyte's here, and we're going to be looking at the C64 Mini. There's a ton of videos on YouTube for this, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, and do one of my own. Maybe try and address some of the things that people have been complaining about and uh, 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 some of the weaknesses of, of the unit. Uh, uh, maybe they Maybe they are weaknesses, maybe they're not. Uh, it's hard to tell. A, a lot of the uh, a lot of the complaints seem to be about the C64 Mini and how how it's different because it uses emulation <coughs> rather than a uh, rather than a hardware connection. But uh, I don't do a lot of gaming, and I don't do a lot of I haven't done a lot of retro gaming. That's for sure. So. Uh, Maybe it'll be a little different for me than it is for some of the other uh, some of the other true retro gamers. So we're gonna we're gonna start with an unboxing video, and uh, later on we're we're going to get into some of the games and uh, and show those. So let's go ahead. I got this uh, from I got this from GameStop for eighty dollars. And it seems to be that's that's kind of the going rate. They were more expensive on Amazon and and eBay, so why not shop local, get it today? And uh, it looks like uh, my box has actually been unboxed a couple of times. Well, it's it's been unboxed at least once. Uh, the tape was was taken off, but I have personally not unboxed this at all. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, get into it and, and see what we can see. So, okay, so 64 games included. Like I said, this is this is something that's been reviewed by a lot of other folks. You can find YouTube videos of it all over the place. And immediately I can tell that the box is upside down interior box. So it's definitely been taken out of the box. But it looks like it's all here. C64 Mini. And when I go through this pretty quickly, like I said, other people have, have reviewed this. Now this, uh, this is obviously, uh, uh, to me, it's brown. Uh, on the Commodore, uh, this this side was black. In the videos, it I I, I guess I couldn't tell if it was uh, brown or black, but this is definitely uh, this is definitely brown. I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, I can see it's kind of kind of brown, but not a big deal. It's just uh, something I wasn't expecting. HDMI and power. It only runs off of about a uh, one amp power supply. We're going to use a, a two amp once we get to doing some demonstration. And of course the keyboard is just for show. So set that aside. Yep, definitely looks like it's been uh, <laughs> somebody's been in here, that's for sure. Don't know if this has been hooked up or not. Yep. <clears throat> Some of the twist ties on here are definitely been retied. I guess this has been opened before, not a big deal for me. But so this is uh this has been the chief complaint. People don't like the feel of this joystick, and to me the joystick feels just fine. I, I I don't know what anybody's complaining about. You know, it's pretty it's pretty lightweight. It's based off of the Competition Pro, which I never had, but 
So yeah, I don't know. It, it, it feels fine to me. We'll see. We'll play some games and, and try it out. And of course the manual that everybody likes. Retro Reborn. World's first retro game subscription service. Well, that's interesting. That's... I don't believe I've seen... I don't believe I've seen uh, that advertisement in any of the others. So. Well, we'll, we'll check that out maybe a little after a while. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. There's not, not a whole lot in here. So... I've been playing around with this uh, most of the afternoon here, and for the most part, it's yeah, it's pretty good. The joystick, I I had a problem with where you would you would actually push it to the left, and it would either go up or down or just freeze in place. I took the joystick completely apart, and it um, uh, in the pro the process of taking it apart apparently resolved the issue so um not sure what happened there if uh it is just a membrane uh uh just a membrane joystick membrane contacts uh so there's no mechanical switches in it at all otherwise the joystick seems to work pretty okay uh the buttons are fine in particular i'm still not used to the to the joystick part, something about it seems just a little bit off yet. Um, but uh, but it works. It 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 works and and it's all right. But the other thing I should mention is that uh, I've been trying to use other joysticks. I've got this Logitech 310 here. It's a it's a new joystick. Uh, many a, a lot of different settings on it different modes you would have th uh, thought that one of them would have worked no it was a no-go i could get it to light up that was about it and it would not light up without the original joystick the one that it came with plugged in so that was a little weird i also tried a uh, a little green just a cheap chinese uh green joystick over here that didn't work either and so I'm a little little perplexed. They say it's supposed to work. Of course, they don't guarantee it to work. The one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to try and load some games. So the first thing I did is I updated the firmware. The firmware is, uh, is available on the c64.com. You download it. You put it onto a USB drive. You stick it into the computer, uh, the mini, and then uh, you can... Uh, and and uh, go into the settings and 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 it just it updates it finds it and it updates it and it's a super simple process lots of lots of documentation on that online the 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 one game that I wanted to play I was going to download a couple of uh, uh, cartridge images or ROM images or something like that I what I had on hand right away was uh, Planet X2. So this is the setup that I've got. And I'm at the menu. And the the biggest issue was the lack of USB ports. So let me, uh, let me move in on this real quick. So you can see the, the power is still being supplied by that 1.8. It's, it's a 1.85 amp uh five volt just a phone charger and it runs to power a, a usb hub the cable for the power for the mini itself is run through the usb hub along with the keyboard cable the joystick is plugged into the mini and then, of course, I've got the flash drive that's got the Planet X2 game on it. And so it, so it took a little bit of doing. 
I tried a couple of things. I, I've also uh, I've tried a couple of things to get it to work, and I'll show you that here in a minute. I've got my Commodore 64 labeled uh, a retro keyboard case keyboard plugged into it. Now the the uh, it is using positional mapping on because uh, this uh, this runs Vice. And so my labels are not exactly, um, not not quite right. I think I used a, I think I used a symbolic map uh, to to lay this out. Um, so the, so some of the things that are in, pl uh, some of the things that are there, are actually not uh, where they're supposed to be. So. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and run Planet X2 on the Commodore 64 Mini. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna load Planet X2 from the USB drive. And this is what it looks like. Now I should mention, of course, this has a virtual keyboard on it, but to try and play this game from the virtual keyboard, uh, it's definitely not happening. I've currently got it in in 4x3 uh, aspect ratio for North America, so it is not it, it's not stretching the the screen out. So, we're going to change the difficulty. River divide, fine. There we go. Let's start the map. So, as you can see, Things are working really well. Go ahead and build something. This is a recent acquisition. I just recently purchased this, just the uh, thin pack uh, from the 8-bit guy. Wonderful game. Highly recommend it if you don't have it already. But you get the idea. I have I've only played this is about the second time I've played this, so I've actually not not had a lot of lot of time with this. Okay, so what do I think about the uh, C64 Mini? Well, like I said, I've, I've played this most of the afternoon, uh, trying out different games. I, I've never even, I've never heard of most of them. And I, I don't know, it's, it's a good selection of games, uh, 64 games. $80, eh, is a little steep for me, but, uh, but all, especially for a product that seems kind of limited, the firmware update really... That's what really uh, convinced me to go and get this product. Maybe there's a way to put a USB, uh, another USB maybe in the joystick. They say that they've got joysticks. They sell joysticks, extra joysticks on the website. Apparently not available. They don't, they, it's, there's no store on their website. It's, it's a picture of the joystick. It says there's more stuff coming soon. Well, I, I hope so. I, I'm, I, I'm glad I spent the $80 to support the project, to support 
them coming out with more things to maybe come out with a uh, uh, the the full size C64. That'd be great, especially if it had a had a good price point. This uh, this is a great little machine. I think you would have to be a true Commodore 64 enthusiast, and uh, goodness knows there's at least 17 million of us out there to uh, to really to really get into this. Uh, I haven't done any any programming beyond the obligatory, uh, you know. 10 print hello 20 go to 10 on the on the basic but with the keyboard it's definitely uh, a it's definitely a doable proposition uh, it does have a full character set but knowing what I know now what I would I have chosen this uh, just for me and not to do you know a YouTube video on it not just to do a YouTube video on it I gotta say no um Honestly, the there's some games in there I, I really would like to play. I have my Raspberry Pi that runs uh, Vice Emulator. For me, that's a more complete system than than what this is. I don't believe I spent eighty dollars on my Raspberry Pi and and keyboard. Well, maybe I did, pretty close. But if you are a, a fan of Commodore sixty four and want to play some games and and get back into it great little machine so uh joystick isn't as bad as some people have said i like i said i had some problems with it uh initially and simply taking it apart putting it back together again solve solve those issues uh, some of the youtubers have said that there's a delay i did notice that it's really insignificant uh, i i when you when you have a direct hardware connection to a computer uh, and, and you're using controls like that, I'm sure that you're, uh, that that it's more noticeable, but I, I'm not noticing it as much. I don't think it's, I, I really don't think it's that big of a problem. I would like to see it support some different joysticks. And I do have one more joystick I can try, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I, I couldn't get my two main joysticks to work on it so i think i will probably call it a, call it a night there but no it's uh, uh i i i liked it i'm gonna keep it and uh we're gonna play around with it some more and maybe uh get in there and, and get into some of the nitty-gritty and do some hardware mods maybe some other things too so but uh but that's the video uh for better or for worse thank you for watching Thank you.